Hello and welcome back. My name is Andre. And I'm Dominika. And we're back again with another reaction to uh, Sabaton. No bullets fly. Ah, that was uh, no, no. That was recommended. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <laughs> that was recommended. Um, I think so, so many times in all mm -hmm. different. Yeah, different we've seen it so many times uh, lately. Yeah. Uh, so we finally get to do it. This song was most recommended. Uh, so that's it. We don't know Sabaton. No, me neither. I never heard. It. That's why I did want to say. Never mm -hmm. heard the song. Never heard. We did, maybe the we, name of the band. Maybe yeah, heard somewhere. Yeah. But what we know that the, the, we checked quickly it was the it's a, a metal band from Sweden. I think so. What do you mean you think? So? Yeah, I yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> I don't know. I have like well, a, we checked yes. it together, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't know where were you, uh, oh. and that's all we know. Okay. Then. That and if you notice the direction we're going with other music and reaction, it's um, towards the metal music kind of thing. Yeah, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Something I never, I never expected to uh, to actually discover. So, but it's cool. I do enjoy it so far. Mm -hmm. All of them. That's correct. Uh, so are you ready? Yes. Okay. He's saying animated story video. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. I like animation. We'll see, yeah. It's December the 20th, 1943. And in the freezing air, high above Germany, Second Lieutenant Charles Charlie Brown is at the controls of his B-17F, the old pub. At 11.30, approaching the target of the Fokker Wolf plant near Bremen, the pub is rocked as four explosions go off right in front of the B-17. A cry comes across the intercom. We're hit. In the plexiglass notes, a huge hole had been made. An icy cold wind was being blown inside, making freezing conditions for the crew. Engine two had been hit, and co-pilot Spencer Pinky Luke let out an expletive as he noticed a huge hole in the right wing. Releasing their bombs over the factory, the crew turned to the north, planning to head over the coast and turn west for home. With one engine out and engine four now faulty, the pub started to fall back from the formation with another damaged plane. Sam Blackie Blackford in the ball turret watched as it disappeared into a cloud bank. There was an orange flash in the cloud. Bandits, Eki shouted, as five BF-109s streaked from the cloud bank. Then another cry. Bandits, as eight FW-190s were spotted in formation ahead of the pub. Sergeant Bertrand Frenchy Coulomb in the turret shot the 190 out of the sky. The navigator, Al Doc Sadek, took out the second. Pinky reported the engine three had been hit. That left just one engine at full power. The BF 109s attacked the pub from behind, swarming all over. But due to the cold wind running through the pub, most of the guns were frozen. In a turn now, the pub was repeatedly hit, taking extreme damage and killing the tail gunner. A shell penetrated and exploded near the waste gunners, injuring the crew and creating a huge hole. The oxygen supply was taken out and the pub spun towards the ground. With the crew unconscious due to lack of oxygen, the B-17 fell for four miles. Charlie started to come around and grabbed the controls. You know what? Uh, I want to stop it a bit because we, we don't talk, we just watch. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on. Well, I want to say something. They will teach me at school like that, who animated. Probably I will learn much more stuff. <laughs> it looks so cool and interesting mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah, de de definitely the so, story sort of like pulls you in. And it's going to be a song as well. I'm hoping. Or it's just this. No, I I have that's what I mean. Song. I'm a little bit confused. I believe it's going to be a song, right? All right. I do like it. Yeah, no, so far it really just, pulls you in. You, 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 so, so I'm so concentrated. I'm trying to look at the visuals as well as the as the lyrics and listen what's happening. Um, okay, let's just go go back slightly. I know Charlie came around and right, he grabbed the controls, pulling back again. Charlie started to come around and grabbed the controls, pulling back as the plane continued to fall, five thousand feet, four thousand feet. 3,000 feet, just moments from hitting the earth. The plane pulled up, almost scraping the trees as it did. Starting. Okay. 
Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> wow, nice intro. Let's have a drink. Mm -hmm. What do you mean I have a drink? I don't have any drink. Oh, well, it's your fault. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. I do like the ride. <laughs> wow, I never expect something right? like that. Wow, the sound is amazing. Oh, I think, you know, I can already honestly say now, I didn't even start properly, that this is not our last Sabaton. I, do, I definitely want to check a little bit more. And I tell you why, because you don't see them. I would like to, I'm so curious how they look. You can, you can see them in an animated version. Right. Uh, but, oh. oh my God, it's so cool. It is it, it? Yeah, the song itself is so cool. Obviously, the, the subject topic is not cool, not something you would call cool, but uh, I, I do love the song. I think it's cool. All right, ready? Yeah. So I don't understand a bit. Uh, yeah, me, I'm a little bit confused so as well. So as far as I, I get from the beginning till at the moment, there, there were um, some American kind of big ones, yeah. bomber and something like that. And the Germans followed them to the try came, to destroy yeah, it. Yeah, the ambush, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now the American kind so of So Charlie plane, came around, he pulled the machine back up. And so American plane it. is almost destroyed, in, in barely pieces. with one engine. But the Germans fly next to him and... Uh... But there's one German flying next to him. So yeah. the one one plane and the other ones are not happy about it. That's how I, so what I understand. Is this kind of like a true story something? I don't know. You're asking the wrong person. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ask there in the camera. Yes. <laughs> is <laughs> I mean, there I... any... Oh, wow. Uh, let's go. It go back slightly. Yeah. Oh, it's cool, is it? I, it's a, the song. I do like it. And it tells the story. So it's, a, it's like... Um, mm -hmm. Like a like a story with the lyrics, isn't it? Definitely, I like it. Come on, uh -huh. ready? Yeah. I'm so sorry, I have to stop. Did he wow. salute him? Yeah. Look. 
Five fighting fair is the code of the air. Wow. He, he didn't want to fight because like, they I'm cannot fight emotional. back. I don't know why. Wow. That's the thing. They cannot fight back and he didn't want to fight like that. It was not fair. That's why they just let him. He had no chance anyway. Is that the real thing? Wow. It's so cool. This German guy was so cool. The story was kept secret until 1986, when Brown started the search for the German pilot who had shown mercy on that December day all those years ago. In 1990, Brown received a letter from a man named Stigler, who was living in Canada. Stigler explained that he had been the pilot of the German fighter who had escorted Ye Old Pub. This video is of their first meeting. Franz, what were your feelings when you met again for the first time? I was so happy as we met that I dropped him. How about him? What's the DJ? The the fact that he risked his life really in many ways. And I wrote him in a letter. I said, if you uh, if you made a habit of feeling sorry for Palmer Cruz, flag up alongside them. I am sure that you were shot down many times. But it was a not only the audacity that he came up to us and uh, then recognizing the threat. If someone had seen him and reported him, it could have been a death sentence. Franz gifted Charlie a book, and inside the inscription read, In 1940, I lost my only brother as a night fighter. On the 20th of December, four days before Christmas, I had the chance to save a B-17 from her destruction. A plane so badly damaged, it was a wonder that she was still flying. The pilot, Charlie Brown, is for me as precious as my brother was. Thanks, Charlie. Your brother, Franz. In 2008, within a few months of each other, the two firm friends went on their final journey. Franz Stigler never got the Knight's Cross, but as he always said, he got something better. I'm sorry, you alright? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was so focused in there. You okay? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Is it stupid? I'm so sorry. I do no, apologize. I stupid. couldn't contain my tears. I, I know you sensitive. The story put... Oh, you okay? Yes. Hey, beautiful, you alright? <laughs> yes. Wow, I don't know what happened to me. I have no idea. It, it just moved me so much, the story. And when I saw them real... Something like this when you when you hear and watch. And I'm so sorry that my focus was taken a little bit away from the from the Sabaton itself, which is bad. So that's why we have to do another Sabaton song, maybe. But some, when you watch something like this or hear stories like that, in a, in a times of... When this happened in a times of... Uh, you know, the, the the true terror and horror and, you know, the awful, awful, awful dark times. It sort of gives you the hope that the, the people are not completely, you know, mm -hmm. we're not great, but deep inside there's still goodness in, in us. Mm. I'm sorry. You need a tissue, baby? <sighs> I think we have to change our channel name. <laughs> I, I'm so so I feel you really really bad babies. because it's a I honestly I I didn't I couldn't cry too I do I'm so you. sorry love you're crying I just that's alright oh my god I, I enjoyed so much yeah it was so beautiful and I was so unexpected to put that one in the end and Charlie and the German part and they talk and they hug and they, they Charlie will never be he 
what these that, days exactly. if, uh, France was a you really sort of truly can say that you own your life to that person right because mm. if it wasn't for that person they, they would they would all yeah, like he said he no. risked his life so if someone see me yeah wow that was something Oh, I never see something like that. It's just in the movies, kind of. But this is real. Uh, mm, let's finish it. Just go back slightly, yeah, because yeah. they, they were saying something. Okay. That 2008, something happened. Okay. Or oh, 18, sorry. 14. Sabaton fan was listening to the newly released album Heroes, okay? Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Hi, my name is Jovita Tan Stiegler. I would like to thank Sabaton and your song, No Bullets Fly. Because of this, the story of my father will live on. See you on your next concert tour. Safe journey, gentlemen, and again, thank you. Wow, wait a minute. This is so... So the fan was the son of the... Uh... Grandson. Yeah, yeah, wow. Sorry, I keep stopping. You all right? Yeah. All right, we go back. We have to finish it because you... <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with me. Oh, my God. I go back a bit, all right? <laughs> wow, it's so cool. The tour. Safe journey, gentlemen. And again, thank you. Oh, I did stop right in the end. <laughs> right at the end. I wanted to say, don't stop. Well, I do want to say what I want to say. I don't want to forget. If I can, uh, <laughs> I feel so so silly. I'm so sorry. If I can say I wanna, I wanna eat my words and I take everything back what I thought about metal music and metal bands. Uh, you know how, how really wrong I like I said probably before. It, it doesn't matter for them because they've got a, you know the, mm, the millions the fans, of yeah. fans behind them. So, they, but for me it's important to admit that. I never ever thought that I'm gonna be in a. I know if someone told me that I'm gonna be sitting, you know, listening to the to the song of a metal band and cry, heavy metal band and cry because I'll be so moved. And it's not the first time, right? It's not the mm -hmm. first metal song Definitely, that is actually no. actually. Moved it's not me. gonna be the last one, probably. Oh crikey! So I'm. <laughs> There's no hope for me. That's why I say we can have. We have to, we have to go name. for something different. I don't know some happy pop kind of. No, I don't want that. I don't like heavy stuff so much, but. Well, you're supposed to say all of this and the start of the video. There's no one going to watch till the end, so... <laughs> okay, our next meta video, I'm going to start like that. So that I want to eat my words. Uh, there is a hope that no one's going to... Yeah, you're absolutely right. Probably. So there is a, there, is a, there may be two few. people or three. Uh, they're not going to see me cry. I don't know what happened. It, uh, the, the story moved me so much. And you know what the... Ex the, the the, how the Sabaton told the story, it even makes it even more cooler. Mm -hmm. I, it, I was saying that with the with the other, you take something so important and you you deliver it in a way that people's going to listen. And I think they done just that. <laughs> that uh, you know, for them was important to to tell that story and um, for people to hear that story, rightly so. It should be heard. Mm -hmm. And to be absolutely honest. If it wasn't for Sabaton, we would never know about this story. And that's mm. the beauty of it. That's what makes me really emotional. Mm -hmm. I, you just say so many things. I don't want to eclipse your feelings and all those things. I think you right? we need to finish the video. All right, we finished the video. Uh, hope you enjoy our reaction and see you again next time. Have a lovely day and all the best. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Dominica is crying. I don't know what's the matter. I cannot stop it. I'm gonna stop the video. They now. open something. <laughs> bye bye. Close it. Close it. I don't find it, baby. Here you go. Bye.